All right, chaps, welcome here to section one, single string fragments, and here is exercise one. Two, three, four. <laughs> simple, three note descending, C, B and A, repete, 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 repete. Alright, make sure the synchronisation is good, should be no problem, alright. And let's do number two, which is just the reverse of number one, I'm going to ascending little triplet, here we go. ABC Number 3, a little ostinato pattern I'll Do one 3 oh. might do this one a little bit quicker as well Let's see, one 3 oh. I think that one, so we challenge ourselves a bit. Let's try one four oh for this little pattern. Yeah, pretty good. And then, what do you think, Eddie? Should we do one five oh? Getting a big nod from the big man, so we're going to do it. That's going to be quick. Yeah, concentration to keep that one up very intense. Alright, let's do number four. It's a reversing ostinato pattern, and we're going to go back to 130 BPM. Off we go. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then number five, number five, we're going to do one three. We're going to crank the hell out of this one. All right, the up and down guy. Here it is, half time. Okay, here we go. Actually, fairly straightforward at that tempo. Now, nice and warmed up. Let's do 140. I'm going to switch my little V pick here. Let's see how we got the own V pick. Again, it seemed pretty comfortable, so let's do 150. 150, same lick. Straight in this time, I think. Yeah, no bother. Is there more in the tank? Let's just push it to failure. 160. Let's go for 170, why not? Extreme, 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 why not? 2, 3, 4 Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool Wow, that is very, very quick Okay, few 
calm down. And then on to number exercise six. Yeah, which is a little pedal tone thing. So I'm going to go back to, well, we're going to stay with 170, but we're going to do semi quavers. Thank God for that. <laughs> And simple four note thing. Dead easy. All these initial exercises are just designed to get synchronization together on one string before we have to start worrying about the dreaded string crossing. So obviously you can't really play fast or well articulated if you don't synchronize well on a single string. So that's kind of the idea behind all of these guys. Let's carry on and do this would be exercise number seven. So reverse pedal tone. <laughs> Nice and easy one, I think that. And then number nine, this is a sort of up and back guy, or is it just a down guy? It's just a, I don't know what this one is, very, very good. Let's do, actually this would be exercise eight, I believe, not, not exercise seven, yeah, exercise eight. So, uh, here is number eight. I'm gonna do this at 180, and then again, let's just try and crank the hell out of it. 180, exercise eight. <laughs> Seem pretty easy, so let's do 200. Let's have a wee shot of the V pick here. Yeah, good stuff, and there's still more in the tank here, I think. Let's do 220. 220, 220. Very, very, very quick. Yeah, super duper. And uh, what do you think, Ed? Should we crank this a bit more? Is it crankable? Let's do 240. It's getting freaking insane now. Right, 240. Yeah, quite weather at that tempo, it really is synced. Yeah, it's a bit hit and miss, I'm not sure. But it sounds quite tight, but yeah, you be the judge. Now, the next one, as we exercise nine, is just the reverse of that. Starting on the note of C, C, B, A, B. And let's go back to 180. Phew. After scaling the heights of 240, let's go to 180. Yeah, I mean, after 240, 180 seems positively pedestrian. Tempo has got a weird way of sort of changing in your mind that if you play at an extremely quick tempo or a tempo that's beyond your usual comfort zone when you go back to the the tempo that initially you may be considered to be quite quick or a bit challenging it just seems like you've got plenty of time this is why for instance 120 beats a minute feels very fast to a beginner but you know, obviously a seasoned player it's nothing but 120 for a beginner yeah, it seems like it's so fast it's so little time to think but Pushing the tempos extremely means that your, you know, ordinarily quick tempos just don't feel quick. To me, 180 does not feel quick at all. All right, anyway, okay, can we, can we, can we crank this one? Let's crank it. Let's crank it to 200. <laughs> Bonus scale playing there. Sounds like an angry wasp in a jar. That's my whole uh, raison d'etre. The, the aim of my guitar playing is to sound like a wasp in a jar. 
Right, now, so that was, I believe, number nine. Number 10 is just a descending four note figure. I'm gonna stick with 200 BPM. Grab the old V-pick and just do it. Do it, do it, do it now. <laughs> I definitely get the feeling there's more in the tank than just 200 there. Let's do 220. I don't know, is there any more? Any more for any more? Let's do 240, could be a fail here. Again, it's going so quick it's hard to hear whether you're really really in the pocket or not but it feels it feels okay but well yeah, put it on the microscope ah, is it quite so tight maybe not right let's move on and back to 180 i'm going to do a sending group of four why not <laughs> fairly easy. I think we can just do 200 on this like. Oh, I would think add 220. Shoot for 220 on this like. Here we go. Oh, Yeah, that's right at the limit. Okay, now, uh, actually that was exercise 11. If I said exercise 10, apologies, that last one was exercise 11. On to exercise 12, a sort of down and up thing. And we're just gonna shoot straight for 200 here. And crank the hell out of it. <laughs> and then I don't know we should just keep pushing this one let's push this one to 20 <laughs> well, should we push some more Ed let's push to 240 maybe and yeah, try and hit 250 let the uh, left hand recover. You know that joke, what's this? It's a deep one of that. It's how my left hand feels. Let's play 240. <laughs> monster unless the 250 it's as fast as my backing track goes ay 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 oh, it's so sweaty the track pads not working use the mouse look Alright, that was pretty hard. And I think that's it, guys. Yeah! 
Hurrah! Made it through section one. I appreciate these tempos are ridiculous. I'm really just going as fast as I possibly can. Tempos you should aim for, I would say that for semi quavers, 150 BPM would be really respectable. Uh, semi quaver triplets, anything up to well, over 100 would be good. Gold tempos for you guys, I would suggest 120 BPM for semi quaver triplets and 180 BPM for semi quavers if you can make that. That's an extremely good level of tenant picking technique, giving the top for well, five percent or less of all guitar players who have a good picking, picking chops. All right. Anywho, enough of that, man. Section one done. On to section two.